The following is part 2 of a two-part discussion on the Nintendo Switch presentation. For part 1, which includes our impressions of the presentation itself, click the information icon on your screen now. The following contains hands-on impressions with the Nintendo Switch. So don't lose your fifty dollar controllers, please. So Sora, yeah. How how about that hands on experience? Yeah, so we um, have to try a switch. It what was it was re really good. Um, when did you go? What day did you go? I went that Friday. The oh, day you went on to... media day. So you were with all the YouTubers and people. you did you see all the all the press there? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. There were people recording a lot. But uh, my first, my first impression. So, so now we have now we have to go through like every big YouTuber and just uh, try and find, find Sora. Sora yeah. so we can, I'm on it. So we can put this in the YouTube upload. <laughs> well, my You're first probably in there somewhere. Because it's like I'm watching. I'm like, oh hey, there's Pro Jared in some random person video. <laughs> oh, so I bet you're in there. So how is the switch? My biggest first impression, it takes like no time at all to switch from portable mode to. Uh, TV mode. It goes really quick. That's really nice, actually. Yeah. I thought it was going to take, like, a long time to transfer from one to the other, but as soon as you pop it out, it's on the handheld. It takes a little bit for it to sync up with the TV because of the way HDMIs work. Yeah, but, right. But I it, know, like, it's my really monitor not that takes, bad. like, three seconds to turn on when it gets the signal. It's, it's really, really not that bad. So uh, It felt sturdy. It felt very sturdy. Well, it's that's a Nintendo nice. console. That's that's yeah. implied. <laughs> I presume it's like plastic with glass front because it's touch screen. They should have had a station where they let you drop it to see <laughs> how durable it is. Well, that's the thing. If somebody did break it at that station, then it'd be all over the news, and Nintendo wouldn't want. There's the one guy on the on the treehouse stream. It feels like I could just break it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so oh. yeah, it like I could just <laughs> snap it in half. And don't do it's that. Like, no, don't. And then the stream cuts out. <laughs> up and you know you, you're, you're shaking and like this thing is so solid i don't i don't know if i could break this thing if i tried i'm not gonna try don't try. so you thought it was sturdy yeah i definitely did um my 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 other thing is it, it putting the uh the joy cons in and out very very easy oh was it that's yeah. like one thing where i'm like i don't know how easy that would be because you gotta like hold the button and cl click it and stuff and they they recommend click. putting your hand on top of the tablet itself it's and then pressing button call. and sliding it out. Because if you just slide it out itself, if it's newer, it's going to start to take the tablet up with it. Right. And that that, that actually did happen to me. So it was oh. easier to just demo to hold the tablet in with one hand and to slide out the other one with the button. But actually, it, it latched in really strongly. So it wasn't like, it didn't feel like I, if I was holding it vertically, it would slide it out from underneath. Yeah. Oh, nice. One thing I heard is that the wrist straps don't hold on very tightly to the Joy-Con themselves. But I did not get to play One Two Switch, so I did not. Oh, I did not. Oh, you didn't, you didn't get to milk any cows. No. How unfortunate. But now you how didn't, you didn't beat JC's score because JC from he got the like house. a lot. <laughs> he was bragging about that milking score. He's like, I bet you guys can't beat my milk score. And then I, I so think his score uh, was like or something. So how easy is it to like actually put it in the dock? Because the dock's just like USB C and like some things, right? It's not like some special pins or That's the thing. I I don't know about it wasn't hard to put it in at all. It just it felt like it slid in. Well, I mean, yeah, it has the little guide. Like, I know the like I have like a external like SSD that has USB C on it. And like it's like not like difficult to plug it in, but it's certainly you gotta like actually do it. So oh, I'm I like, you mean. it's kind of weird that it's just like effortless to dock it. To me, it almost felt like putting it in the putting it in the dock was wireless, but I know that's not true. Right. 
That's well, pretty... the way the dock is designed is that no matter what, you're always putting it in the right way. Like, exactly mm -hmm. precisely the right way. So that's why it feels so seamless, I think. That it's just makes all... me wonder how Unless it's going to work. Unless you put it in upside down. <laughs> <laughs> that backwards. makes me wonder how it's going Honey, to work. Where will my switch connect? When you put in, like, a cable by itself. If, I presume like, it's going to be, like, a USB-C cable. I know, no, with a phone, Oh, but, like, right, how strong to, it holds? Like, yeah, yeah, like, you have to push it in, but it's not going to fall out. If it's right. just gliding onto the dock, then... That's a good question, it's actually. It's going to fall off. It what? didn't feel like I had to pull the thing out of the dock. It just, it slid out. That's interesting. All in all, I'd say it, it felt very good. I mean, it felt very natural to me, and I'm a klutz when it comes to technology, so... <laughs> It was actually it, it if, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Yeah, and but, I, I ordered some screen protectors just to be safe. But... I can't stand screen but, protectors. But Sora, does the switch have a handle? I don't think it, it has. Does I don't think it does. Have a handle. Oh, Dang. Nintendo lied. Nintendo lied. Didn't inherit that DNA. It, it, it didn't inherit the handle. <laughs> so, what control schemes did you use? I used the Pro Controller. Okay. Which what are the buttons so like? What are the buttons like? This the is buttons, the most important. The buttons felt a little stiffer than the buttons on the Wii U Pro Controller. Yeah, I heard they were a little more clicky. Yeah, I've never, I have never used but a like, Wii U Pro Controller. But are they really satisfying? It was really good. It was easily the most comfortable controller. It felt like a cross between the GameCube controller and the... Uh, and it was clicky. It was. It was it's hard to explain, but... But they were it really felt satisfying. Very, very good. <laughs> that's, and, that's... and we've cut, we've come full circle with what Tuni initially said about these controllers. Yes. <laughs> now, the the controller that I consider to be like the best in the market right now is the Xbox One controller. And I'm really curious to see like how I haven't how it used one enough, that. and I will be soon getting a chance to use one. But right now, the the DualShock Four is really nice. <laughs> The thing that killed the Xbox One controller for me was just like the treaded thumbsticks. Oh, those I, are great. I, I I don't like them. They feel That's really amazing. Good. That's they're great until they wear out and then they're awful. Um. The only control thing that I did not like about the Switch, and I used I used singular Joy Cons also. Oh, mm -hmm. separately. Like, like just I, I used okay. Sideways Joy Con. So I used the uh, I used the Joy Con L as just a controller for Mario Kart Eight. Yeah. Oh, and. It was, it in was, the wheel or not in the wheel? In the wheel and out of the wheel. Ooh. And it was it was it was really good. It when was when you're uh, doing it when you're doing wheel to the good. wheel, uh, were you using button inputs or were you still using gyro? Button. Okay. Okay. How um, are like they in a weird place? Because like they seem like they might be in a weird place. As someone that exclusively plays handheld games on XL systems. I was very concerned that it was going to be really small and that I would have to reach my thumbs over stupid amounts of places to play it. Sure. But it fit very comfortably in my hand, and the only concern I had was the shoulder buttons were a little strange. But you also didn't try the wrist strap to make No, I did not. To I did not get different. to try that. No. So without the wrist strap, I'd say that that's a little bad. But the thing that, control that concerned me the most about the Joy-Cons, the sticks felt very 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 shallow interesting it was like when you pressed up you pressed up like a centimeter and it was already at the top of the oh that's weird it was like it was like i don't know how to describe it like a circle pad it was like a circle pad but with depth. with a stick <laughs> yeah and it was uh i was, was pushing bad, up a lot or was and it I, just different it was different i don't know if it's bad but it was uh I was pushing up a lot further than I had to, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that can't be good for the stick because I was putting a lot of pressure on it. With NFC in it, snap those NFC wires. You're not careful. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So, how about the grip? Did you try the grip? What is the grip? Oh, oh, the, the, uh, the, the thing the, that looks like the, the, the piece of plastic. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so um, that felt like a pro controller, mm -hmm. but. A little, a little bulkier, which makes sense. Yeah. And my my middle fingers felt like they were falling into a uh, little pockets on there, which was a little distracting. But it, the way it, that it's shaped, 
it's it feels to me at least that they took it and then just added handles to a square that they had. I mean, that's that's where the like. handles went. So, the, so how would you compare the Pro Controller and the Grip? The Pro Controller is a lot, lot, lot better than the Grip. Is it seventy dollars okay. better? <laughs> um, as someone that prefers to play with a normal controller, yes, but it might it's not be the, worth it for everyone. It's also the only controller with the true uh, control pad, D-pad, D-pad thing. So, well, the that. gyroscope in the Pro Controller was excellent. I played Splatoon two with it, and it oh, was a. Nice. Uh, it was very natural, and I aimed some arrows in Breath of the Wild with it, and it felt really good. Oh, they have gyro aim in Breath of the Wild? Good. Yeah. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know this. I didn't, it, I you, okay. you move with the stick, it's just really precise stuff with the uh, so gyro. Yeah, yeah the just like gyro. Wind Waker HD. Yes. So how about, um, oh, what was I going to ask? The, like, the shoulder buttons on the Pro Controller. Because what I've seen from the pictures, they look like they're really big. Like the shoulder buttons and the, and the triggers. They Are felt they like... to be like um, they're bigger than the Wii U Pro Controller. Yeah. Do they cover like the entire part where your fingers are? Because that's what it looks like. I'm not entirely sure what you're asking. So, so wait, we, we have but to do, ask are they the... really big or are they just like? <laughs> they're they're. Size? I need to know. Are they big? <laughs> they're pretty big. Like okay, I have my uh, I have my DualShock Four here. Okay. Me and <laughs> very similar to that, except they're not analog. The back two. Okay. Um, so, uh, the, 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 so they're not analog on, at the back. There are digital triggers on the Pro Controller. Yeah, they're all, all digital. Nintendo oh. gave up on analog triggers with the GameCube. They didn't bring that piece of DNA. But like the Wii U Pro Controller, the triggers on those were really like thin. That was, yeah. Like, that was like the big rumor that I don't think anybody had really fully dismissed yet. Nobody had said either way. Well, it was digital, so. Oh, that's okay, so now you pre-ordered a gray switch. Yes. But considering you saw in person the neon blue and neon red, do you still think that you made the right decision? Yes. Do you, do you like the neon blue and neon red? Yes. But you don't like them mismatched? No, I don't <laughs> like them mismatched. Actually, I do like them mismatched. I just, I don't like them enough. To warrant not getting something that's going to not scratch as easily, not paint chip as easily. I don't know. What's nice with the gray so wait, wait, is that they, they, they match, they finish? fit in with the color scheme of everything else. So the wait, blue and red are nice, but so they are, just are you saying that out. the uh, blue and red controller uses a different finish than the gray controllers? Um, no, but in my experience, Nintendo controllers that aren't black get marked up. Well, then we need to get some dev kits, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> with the black but, Joy-Con. Well, the black or gray, but well, no, I just no, no. Here, I here's prefer... the thing. Uh, the uh, the consumer version is gray, yeah, but the dev kits dev kits are black. Have... Yeah, yeah. I I just I personally prefer more plain than. That's fair. So I that's why I I I feel that the gray is a better choice, but I think that you can't go wrong either way because the blue and red are great also so let's see the games you played you played zelda i played zelda twice what? twice did you <laughs> how long did you, was the line now did you play the same demo twice yes i did oh my god why and i, I do believe the demo but, is the same build from e3 is that correct yes but the thing is you can follow the story which i did my first time playing okay or you can explore which i did my second time playing and I actually wound up fighting, uh, fighting a bokoblin, like a bokoblin in cave. And there was one blue bokoblin that had a level twelve club, a spiked club, <laughs> and a level fifteen shield. And yeah. I actually beat him with three hearts. I, I, nice. I was, and then I, I went back in and I beat him because you're able to dodge and you're able to jump and stuff, and it's, mm -hmm. it feels very natural, and it's like, it feels like Wind Waker's. The Wind Waker's uh, combat, combat kind of helps you through it. Yeah. But a little bit more like Twilight in Princess. Depth. I would put it in between the two of them. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, I also have <laughs> I have another question about the Joy-Cons. Okay. Right. So I've heard that they kind of like click into place in the cardinal directions. Did you feel that at all? Like when you hold straight up? 
it kind of like tells you that's where it is. Um, I never noticed that. You never noticed that? Okay. What I saw somebody saying was like how the GameCube controller has, you know, the octagon. Uh, it is, yeah. It's like that, but it's not a physical thing. It was more with haptics, but oh, if that'd you're be not an interesting saying, idea. See, that's why I was, yeah, that's what I was like wondering. Like the fake home button feel on the iPhone. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I didn't feel that. I mean, it might have just felt natural to me, but I, it's so much natural yeah. that I didn't notice it, but I, so, I can't vouch for that. You got to explore the world of Breath of the Wild, and the big thing that people are worried about is the world is going to feel too empty. What was your impressions based off what you saw on the plateau? There was something to do everywhere. <laughs> there was it, was it was beautiful. I mean, when you walk out of the, uh, the Shrine of Resurrection, you just look around, and you're presented with, I want to go there. And you go there, and there's something to do. And um, w- whenever you made it to one area, you could see another area where you wanted to do something next. So there was never a point where it was just like, time to wander around for a little bit. It was like, all right, I see where I am. I see where I want to go next. And then when I go to that next point, there'll be somewhere else to go. There was always something interesting to do. Yeah, that's how Skyrim felt for me, too. It's like... you. Like, there's a lot of spots in Skyrim where you could kind of wander around empty, but if you, you know, just kind of look around and be like, oh, I want to go there. So I'm really glad that that's how you felt. I don't play open world games all that much, so I'm not, I'm not the authority on this, but it <laughs> felt like there was something to do everywhere. That's nice. We've been talking about Zelda a lot. Let's talk about the other games you got to play. Uh, you got to play Snipper Clippers as well. Snipper Clips? Yeah, yeah, yeah that was, uh, I, I played with a stranger that did not speak much English. Oh, oh. <laughs> that probably seems like that was not a good time. It was, it was, it was okay, but, um. I'm, I'm really was, excited for this game. If you I, can I, play I, it in single player mode, that's going to be a game that occupies a lot of my time. I mean, $20, that is a fantastic it's, price. It's, for, yeah, it's a really attractive price, game, but right. I have friends who I would love to play it with, so as soon as it comes out, I'm just going to get a. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna have to like drag people from my dorm into my room. Like, okay, sit down. We're playing this game now. Deal with it. Here's the controller. You can get the 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 guy who's in the background of the Zelda show. But he, but he he's locked at the door half the time. Well, I don't, just, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so Snipper Clips, that was in tabletop mode, right? If I recall right from watching all the videos that I did from the New York event. Yes, it was in tabletop mode. How's the screen on the on the Switch? Um, 720p, which you already yes. know. Yes. But since it's so small, its PPI is really good. Yes. And it's very crisp. Actually, this is this um. It looks good in tabletop mode. But the thing that it floored me was when I took it from. I'm sorry to bring it back to Breath of the Wild. But when I, that's where they wanted to show me switching from the gameplay between uh, handheld and TV. Right. It actually looked somewhat better on the t- on the the handheld. It was probably sharper. Yeah, probably because of the was... pixel density. Exactly. If that's the way games are going to be, I could see myself playing them on handheld mode or tabletop mode a lot more than sure. uh, a lot more than on the big screen. Yeah. So how's the kickstand? sturdy i didn't get to take it out so i'm not sure how it felt interesting but i made like i was accidentally touching the switch because i thought it was a touch screen it is a touch touch screen yeah i know but i I, snipper close is not a touch screen game Uh, i was like okay so i was like poking it to see how it would slide or anything (laughs) and it, it stayed in place pretty solidly that's nice the and that was main... on a, a finished table, so it was not like a... Yeah. So it was like... It, it holds, it grips. Yeah. Because kickstands are often very bad. Yeah. Most of the time, very bad. <laughs> so it's good to hear that they did their homework. So Snipper Clips, solid Snipper game. Clips was was pretty fun. That's good. Um, the only other games I played were Splatoon 2, which, like I said, the motion controls were excellent. Uh, what are the new mechanics in Splatoon 2? 
I did not use the splat dualies. You didn't do anything, did you? What, what you why <laughs> did you even so, go to this event? <laughs> I just wanted to play Zelda a bunch. <laughs> I guess. Well, you got what you wanted. This is true. But, uh, I waited you, online a lot to play Zelda. But uh, did you um, did, did you uh, get to try any new weapons or any new special abilities in Splatoon 2? Oh, oh, I used the Splat Duelies once. And, let's, uh, let's go back five seconds to hear him say, I did not <laughs> use the Splat Duelies. I did not use the Splat Duelies. <laughs> I used them once, I just remembered. Because I remember rolling. And rolling felt really good. That's that's the best I can describe it. I'm sorry, I'm terrible at this, but I was I was a bit confused that they locked rolling to the splat duelies because I feel like that's something that would make sense for a lot of classes to have. Like I feel like balance is way off if the splat duelies. I mean, it might be in like double, special double variants of, of weapons. Like the splat duelies, if you double rate fire and rolling, uh, the only real drawback is a slight decrease in accuracy. Well, the thing is, it when you're when you're using the splat duelies, it actually uses paint to roll. Oh, it does. Okay, so it's yeah. a bit more balanced. I presume that they'll probably have the roll thing as part of like other new weapons, as like I, I, a secondary. So. Probably like how they have bombs and various different weapons, kind of thing. So, Sora, mm -hmm. what games are you going to buy? Let me guess, Zelda. <laughs> Besides Zelda. <laughs> I'm gonna buy one two switch. I'm gonna buy Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Are you really gonna buy one two switch? Yes. Despite you uh, not thinking it existed, Amir. It's not that it didn't think it existed. Skill? It's that um uh, it's that the line was very long. For one two switch, really? Yeah, it was longer for one two switch than for Breath of the Wild. I guess I'm not playing Milk. <laughs> because they did this whole elaborate production where they put hats on everybody and put them into a little room. It's true. So it was a little ridiculous, but yeah. uh, I was more focused on Breath of the Wild mm. but that, because that's uh, I'm a big Legend of Zelda fan. But what I can say from Breath of the Wild is that the controls on the system feel very good. The, how about that? The Pro uh, controller is the best one. And how about the uh, the split uh, directional buttons. They weren't that bad. All right. All they right. really weren't that bad. So it's Breath of used... the Wild, one yeah, Breath of the Wild. Switch. Uh, what else? I'm gonna get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because the yes. battle mode was really fun. I played the battle mode a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not usually a battle mode player, but I'm probably gonna buy that game anyway because Mario Kart 8 is an amazing game. You see, for me, Dude, battle mode is what I battle mode is battle mode is what I play after I've like done four Grand Prix and we want to just you know change things up for a quick bit and then go back to Grand Prix. Right. I just play like long stretches and just online matches after online matches. Balloon battle, guys. I, I am excited. Balloon battle. But, but balloon battle was already in Mario Kart, even though it sucked, but. But, 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 double dash. <laughs> so, um. Oh, I know. I, I know. I know, Sora. Sora, how is the cookie? What did the cookie taste like? The cookie was so good. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Everybody that went got a free cookie that had the Nintendo Switch logo on it. And, and the $100 it was so water bottle. Good. Yeah, the $100 water bottle. <laughs> the, the Nintendo Switch water bottle? Primo. Actually, let me go see what that is. Yeah, I drank mine. I was thirsty. Oh, you can't sell it now. <laughs> you could refill it. Refill it? <laughs> This here is legitimate, genuine uh, Nintendo Switch water models. This, this ain't Nintendo water. Anyway, so do you have anything else to say? How you like what you came away with from this event? Um, I, I pretty much spoke about everything I could think of. Did you see Reggie? I did not, even though I brought my Hyrule Historia to see if he would sign it. So disappointing. It was did you, disappointing. Did you see any like Treehouse employees you recognized? No, I, I saw somebody I recognized from a Nintendo New York. Oh. I guess uh, this is what <laughs> this is our hands-on coverage. Thank you, Sora, for uh, coming yep. and speaking with us. Uh, of course, thanks for having me. Yeah. It, 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 it's really great that we were able to just get somebody 
who understands what it's like to be precarious going into the Switch and coming out with better mindset than they went into, I think. Yeah. I and mean, also... I, I was going to buy it no matter what, but... Yeah, right? Like, I've been following this news for far too long to not buy one of these things. I've been following this thing since it was the NX. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We've been following this since it was. Don't worry, we're not we're not giving up consoles. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming on and uh, yep, answering all of our uh, questions.